Yes, he lives. And we should be glad and rejoice. God is great, and greatly is he to be praised. The heavens, the earth, is pointing out this morning to the wife, we got this certain bird that's out there. It starts about 5.30, quarter to 6 in the morning, and he is or she is, or they are, waking up and thanking God for another day. And if the bird can thank God, and we are much more than a sparrow, then we ought to wake up, not grumbling, but Thank God for another day. Amen. Amen. Let's bow our heads in a word of prayer, most gracious and heavenly Father. We come before thee at this hour in the precious name of Jesus Christ. We do pray, and for his sake, we thank you. For your love, your tender mercy, your kindness, and for the joy in knowing that thou art God, and beside thee there is none other. Thank you for peace, love, joy, happiness, endurance, long suffering to us, Lord. Not willing that any should perish, but that all should come into repentance. Father, we want to thank you for being just who you are, the great I am, and beside thee there is none other. You, you sit high, you look low. You reach down from time to time, touching our bodies, and healing us of affliction, and then allowing no more to come upon us than what we can bear. Father, we thank you for your saving power, your keeping power. The power in which you raised Jesus from the dead, giving us hope beyond the grave. Father, we want to say thank you for the blood that he shed on Calvary that cleanses us from all sin. Father, we thank you for the day, the beauty of the day, and for your deliverance unto this hour of the day where we enter into your courts and do so with praise and bless your name. Because thou art worthy of all the praise. Father, we come with a heart full of praise and thanks, asking that you will remember us as we strive to carry on. Be with us, dear Lord, in our journey. And may we continue to be lights into the community and everywhere we go, that people may see and know, see and know that there is still a reality in serving a true and a living God. Father, you touch our bodies, heal us of afflictions. You've granted unto us the desires of our heart, the things in which we stand in the need of. You've seen fit that they come in due time. And for that, we say thank you. Remember the world in this entirety, them the less fortunate we are. Have mercy upon those on the battlefield fighting for the freedom of others. Your people Israel, dear Lord, who is fighting an enemy that wants to annihilate them totally from one place to the other. Father, you gave them the land. You set it to be. And now man in this day feels as though he can change what thou has ordained to be. Bring him to understand that God is, he sits high, he looks low. And Father, you are the one that says what is and what is to be, and so shall it be. So Father, we thank you. Remember, dear Lord, my dear friend Jerry and his wife Pam, who's been suffering with some dizziness, you know, because you create this body, the balances that are in it, dear Lord, certain things cause certain things to happen. We pray, dear Lord, that you will touch her. And remember him as well. <clears throat> as they grow older together, they will increase their love one for the other until you cease fit to call time. So, Father, we pray, dear Lord, that you remember us. Remember America as a whole as it is being shifted away from its foundation. Wanting to get rid of the Constitution. We are a country of laws. 
given unto us divinely from above and how that the framers have put together such a constitution like none of it before. We pray, dear Lord, that as Satan seeks to destroy the constitution, that you will bring it back to its form and its statue, that all may understand and know that God is totally involved. So, Father, we thank you for all things. Continue to touch our bodies, lead us and guide us and direct us into all truth and righteousness. And remember us as we strive to carry on. In Jesus' name, we do pray and for his sake. Now, Father, open unto us the windows of heaven. Pour us out a blessing. Give us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that we may have what is necessarily needed in order to impart unto others the ways that are pleasing and acceptable in thy sight. Remember the brothers at the out on the road, those are here, Brother Brian and family up here, and Sister Mika as she is <clears throat> back and forth here and there, watch over, protect. Thank you for blessing her mother, dear Lord, to be able to rise out of the pit of destruction and set her back into good standings and good reputation, back on a job, working, healthy, normal. Father, we thank you. So, Father, grant us all the desires of our heart this day. Lead us all on the glory each and every step of the way. In the name of Jesus Christ, we do pray, and for his sake, we thank you. Together can we all say amen. 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 Give an honor to God today and to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to the ministers of the gospel, to the digging, to the congregation, and those that are tuning in. We say good afternoon, and may God bless you. For God is good and his mercy endureth to all generations. I thank God for the scroll which reads obedience, love, reverence, and respect. First being to God, then to leadership, and then to one another. Thank God for my seat in the congregation of the righteous <clears throat> and for him choosing me one day to be who I am. I didn't ask. God called me to be. And I thank God for the dispensation of the gospel that has been committed unto my trust. And I pray that I will always be worthy of the dispensation. Amen. Isn't God good? <clears throat> truly. Thank God for the man and the woman of God because they truly taught us. They taught us the ways of righteousness, pureness, a life above sin. And when they said, Miss Shaw, you never make it. I stand before you today to say he made it. Because that standard is the same standard that the Church of God in Williamsburg. What was implicated then, 1928 when he came, pitched a tent over on Strawberry Plains and John Tyler. Standard that he brought to Williamsburg in 1928 still exists today, 2024. Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. So we thank God. <clears throat> thank God for this, the ninth day of June, 2024. Yeah. Spots from the on page three of your program. First one says, we can tell your speech by your speech, whether you're on speaking terms with God. Isn't that interesting? Tell by your speech if you, you are in connection with him and you, amen, because there's joy in your heart. There's praise on your lips, amen. Giving thanks to he who has the power to do all things, amen. And so we can tell by your speech whether you're on speaking terms with God, when you see things happening for you, amen. The second says, speak to correct, not to offend. In everything we do and say, we have to make sure that it is to correct and not offend. We want not to offend anybody, amen, with our words. Now, the word of God is going to defend a lot of folks. But one thing is of a certainty, God's word is true. <clears throat> but we as individuals have to be careful of what we say. The third says, when you speak without thinking, 
You speak according to your feelings and without judgment. Amen. Amen. Without rightly judging. Correctly. Amen. So you're speaking a lot of time. You're blubbing things out. You're not even thinking. And what you blubber out comes out hurting others. And so we want to speak to correct and not to offend. The fourth said, God does not speak idle words. Idle words are words of no value, no substance. When God speaks, no argument is tenable. You can't argue with him. He says, let there be light, and guess what? There was light. Let the dry lands appear, and guess what? The dry land did appear, and it appeared dry. And that's something come on. Anytime you take anything out of water, it ain't going to be dry for a while. But he said, let the dry land appear, and it was so. That's God. Amen. So when he speaks, there's nothing idle about it. Amen? No idle words with God. So listen, on the back of your program, <clears throat> words uttered from the mouth come from the heart. And will do one or two things. They will either justify you or they will condemn you. Now, words are spirit. Amen. You want me to prove it? You want me to prove it? Stand on your feet. I want everybody to stand up. Okay, you can sit down. The spirit of the word took possession of your mind and caused you to do what? Give God a prayer. Huh? Words are spirit. They can either lift another up. What did it do? What did it just do? Cause you all to do what? Get up. Isn't that something? Mm. Spirit of the Lord is in this place. They can either lift another up or they can tear another down. Whoso offend not in word, God said, is the same as a perfect man. So fair behavior Behavior that is justified, that is morally correct, is what? Essential. It's very important. Amen. Amen? On the front of your program, it says this. Words, right words uttered, right words uttered, are the issues of life. Life. Everybody wants to live. Amen. Nobody wants to die. Even Jesus, knowing why he came here, was in the garden praying and asking God to move the cup. That was evidence to me that he was human like you and I because he did not want to die. And when God would not hear him, he said, Lord, not my will, but thine will be done. And the angels came and ministered strength, and he was able to go to the cross. And guess what? For you and I. Amen. The blood that he shed back then cleanses us from all sin. So truly want to thank God indeed for all things, great and small. Thank God for the power. The Holy Ghost. It's essential, church. Very important to have the Spirit of God in your life. And without the Spirit of God, guess what? You're none of His. You must be 
Nicodemus came to the Jesus by night because he didn't want the rest of them to see. Came to Jesus by night, wanting to know. Jesus told him he had to be born again. He said, how can that be? Must I enter into my mother's womb the second time? And he said, Nicodemus, that which is of flesh is flesh. I'm not talking about flesh. I'm talking about spirit. You must be born of the spirit and of the water. If you do not, you cannot see God. Amen. So any man have not the spirit of Christ, he is none of his. So if you don't have it, it's available. All you got to do is tighten up and walk right and ask God to give you the strength to continue. See, the word of God will clean you up. The Holy Ghost will preserve you. Comes as the housekeeper. Amen. Everybody needs a housekeeper. Amen. Everybody needs a housekeeper. Somebody that's going to keep the house. Once you get it all clean, you want it what? Kept clean. Amen. How we doing, church? So truly, we thank God for my seat in the congregation of the righteous. Thank God for saving me one day and for giving me the mind, the design, and determination to do thine will. You know, words are spirit. And you can always tell right words being issue of life. Life. My dear friend called me up the other day. He says, how? I said, yeah, Jerry, how you doing? He said, that word you said on Sunday has been ringing on me all week long. Payback. 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 I said, yeah. I said, I'm going to share something with you, Jerry. I thought about it the other day. <clears throat> I, I ran, attacked Israel for the first time in history. And what did God do? What did he do? I said, Iran's chief primary president went down in a helicopter, he and some of his big time folks. God don't play, you don't mess. Touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. First time in history they attacked Israel. And the prime person that was behind it all went down in a helicopter. He said, that is something. Payback, ain't it? I said, that's payback. Payback. Amen. Payback. And so church, God don't play. What he says, he does not speak idle words. When he said for something to be done, guess what? Get it done. So I thank God. For him being who he are, who he is, and how great God is. Thank God for my wife. Thank God for our sons. Thank God for our daughter. Thank God for the daughter-in-laws. Thank God for the grandchildren. And for the one that is in the womb. <clears throat> Isn't that something? And more to come. Don't say ah, because you just don't know. He's got it all in control. Amen. Sarah was 90-something years old when she conceived. God's got it all in control. Don't, don't say no. Ah. Believe, believe you me. Amen. So truly today I want to thank God for what he has done and how that he has blessed us to be fruitful and multiply the earth. You see, the purpose is God wants a godly seed. Amen. When you look around and you see all the mess that is going on today, thank God for the godly seed. Those that are born in the way rid in the way, and then stay in the way. Amen. Am I right, Sister Iris? Stay in the way. 
You don't get out of the way, you stay in the way. Like we were down had gathering at Brother Peter's house there on a Christmas day or something or other, and it got up and I had different ones of ministers were speaking. And so I asked Digging Oki. I said, Digging Oki, how many of your daughters did you raise in pants? He said, not a one. I said, Sister Hilda, how many of your daughters did you raise in pants? She said, not a one. Born in a way, reared in a way, and still in the way that leadeth to life everlasting. And so if you are in it, it's your choice. You wasn't raised that way. Amen. See, the church of God had a standard, and it still exists today. And I thank God for the standard of righteousness that was implicated back then that still exists today. Today, church, I want to speak to you about unfair behavior. Unfair behavior. Interesting. The context the Lord had given me, I was reading, iniquity will surely ruin your works. Iniquity is defined as, watch this now, immoral or grossly unfair behavior. Hmm? Unfair behavior. And when we look at the words unfair behavior, unfair is defined as not based on or behaving according to the principles of, watch this now, equality. Mm. Careful now. I'll read that again. Unfair, not based on or behaving according to the principles of equality and justice. We just went through it a week or so ago. Saw it happening, existing. A payback. Unfair. Unfair behavior. Watch this now. Behavior is defined as the way in which one acts or conducts himself, especially against others. Equality. Equal rights to all. That's in the Constitution. Amen? That's in the Constitution of the United States of America. And the justice system is supposed to be equal for all. How are we doing, church? So listen. Unfair is also unkind, inconsiderate, huh? and it is also unreasonable. Woo! Tight end. But it's right. The system is broken. 
and we saw the results of such system. But I like what the former president stated. And everybody's asking, well, you get in, are you going to lock them up? He said, no, my revenge will be success. told that to Jerry, he said, you think he listening to your messages? I said, he could be. Payback. Vengeance is mine, I will repay. Unfair behavior. Digging if you will, congregation. In the book of Ezekiel, Eighteenth chapter. <clears throat> Ezekiel was one of the major prophets. Beginning at the very first verse, said the word of the Lord came unto me again, saying, "What?" What mean ye that you use this proverb concerning the land of Israel, saying, the fathers have done what? Eaten sour grapes. Sour grape, and what are the children doing? And the children's teeth are set on edge. Unfair behavior. The fathers have ate sour grapes. And the children's teeth are set on edge. Mm -hmm. Read. As I live, saith the Lord. As God. I live, saith the Lord. Listen now, God don't speak no idle words. Follow me. As I live, read. Saith the Lord God. Saith the Lord God what? You shall not have occasion you anymore. You shall not have occasion anymore to do what? To use this proverb. In Israel. Mm -hmm. Unfair behavior. Watch this now. Read. Behold what? All souls are mine. Say what? All souls. God says all souls are mine. Watch this now. Read. As the soul of the Father. As the soul of the Father. So also the soul of the so son. So also the soul of the son is mine. Is mine. They all belong to me. Amen. Just as the fathers, so are the sons. Watch this now. Read. That's the soul that sinned. But the soul that sinned. Read. It shall die. It's going to die. You cannot punish the fathers. Or punish the sons for what the fathers have done. Mm -hmm. See, there's a big movement in the country. Reparation. We need to be paid for what your white fathers done did to me. My mm. fathers. All right. Unfair behavior. Mm -hmm. Listen. Go to Ezekiel. I mean Proverbs. And we come back to this. Go to Proverbs, the <clears throat> third chapter. Watch this. Three and twenty. Twenty nine. There it is. <clears throat> 329, devise not evil against thy neighbor, read. Seeing he dwelleth securely by thee. Isn't that something? Amen. You follow me? 30th verse says what? Strive not with a man without cause. Say what? Strive not with a man without cause. If he have why, done thee. Why, why are you going to practice? against a person 
that have done nothing to you. Amen. These are not idle words. Mm -hmm. God don't speak idle words. This is Proverbs, the King James Version, the third chapter and the, 20, the 30th verse says this again. Read. Strive not with a man. Strive not with a man. Read. Without cause. Without cause. He ain't done nothing to you. Amen. Read. If he have done thee no harm. If he have done thee no harm. Amen. 31st says what? Envy thou not the oppressor. Read. And choose none of his ways. You get it? Amen. Don't choose any unfair behavior. Mm -hmm. Go back to Ezekiel. Amen. 18. And drop down to the <clears throat> 19th verse this time. Watch this. Yet you say. Yet you say what? Why? <laughs> why can I not have unfair <laughs> behavior towards the whites of yesteryears that penalized and worked on my forefathers? Mm -hmm. Tell me why. Read. Doth not the son bear the iniquity of the father? You ask the question, why, why is not the son bearing the iniquity? Why don't the white people of the day bear the iniquity of the whites of yesterday? Hey, Y'all looking kind of funny. <laughs> You're thinking. Mm -hmm. People looking at me, looking up, up. Not only to look, but listen. Yes, yes. I'm going to yes. get to it. Watch this now. Read. When the son have done that which is lawful and right. When the son have done that which is lawful. There's a lot of whites today are not for what happened years ago. Mm -hmm. Some have marched for civil rights. Abraham Lincoln is the greatest emancipator in the country. Mm -hmm. He won't black. That's right. You gonna hate him? <laughs> Preach. Huh? Watch this now. When the son have done that which is lawful and right and have kept all my statutes and have done them, he shall what? Surely live. Read. The soul that sinneth. The soul that sinneth. Now, if there's some whites that's got the same mentality of them back then, then what? It shall die. You're going to die. Read. The son shall not bear the iniquity of the father. The son shall not bear the iniquity of the father. Read. Neither shall the father bear the iniquity Neither of the son. Neither shall the father bear the iniquity of the son. Read. The righteousness of the righteous. The righteous of the righteous shall be what? Upon him. And what? The wickedness of the wicked shall be upon him. Some of you black folks are just as bad as the white folks. Yeah, you preach it now. Hello. Preach it now. Hello. You're right. Watch this now, read. But if the wicked will turn. If the wicked will turn now. From all his sins. From all his sins. We're talking about unfair, unfair behavior. But if the wicked will turn from all his sins that he has committed and keep all my statutes and do that which is lawful and right, he shall what? He shall surely live. Surely live what? He shall not die. Read. All his transgressions that, all he, his transgression that he has committed, they shall not be what? Mentioned unto him. Read. In, in that, his righteousness. In the righteousness, done, what? That he have done. That he have done in them what? He shall live. Shall live. Read. Have I any pleasure at all 
that the weakest should die. Read. Save the Lord God. And what? And not that he should return from his ways and live. And live. Read. But when the righteous turneth away but from his But when the righteous way, now, follow me, when the righteous now turneth away from his righteousness and committeth iniquity and doeth according to who? All the abomination. All the abomination of who? That the wicked man doeth. The question is what? Shall he live? It's unfair. Mm -hmm. But you say God's way ain't the right way. Mm -hmm. But God speaks no idle words. Amen. Watch this. Read. All his righteousness. All his righteousness what? That he have done. That he has done. Read. Shall not be mentioned. Shall not be mentioned. In his trespass. In his trespass, trespass. And in his sin that he have sinned. In them shall he die. Down. 25th verse says what? Yet you say the what? way of the Lord, the way of the Lord, is, Lord not is not equal. equal. Oh, oh, it ain't equal. Hmm. Read. Hear now, O house of Israel. Hear now, O people. Read. Is not my way equal? My way is equal. Are not your ways? Are not your ways unequal? unequal. You, you, you're trying to penalize this generation for what the generation of yesterday did. You won't back that. You ain't suffer nothing. When you look at yourself, you got more than what they had back then. God has blessed you Still to be able blessed. to have a job. God has blessed you to be free. Yeah. You can get on a plane. Yeah. You can go anywhere you want to. You That's can right. eat anywhere you want to. That's right. Still complain. People welcome you in, mm -hmm. give you a raise that you ain't even looking for. Mm. Are you now. talking about reparation? I need to be paid. Mm. Get out and get a job. That's right. That's what I say to you. Get out and get a job. Yeah. Read. When the righteous man turneth away when from the his righteous righteousness. When the righteous man turneth away from his righteousness. Listen to this, church. Read. And committeth iniquity. And committeth iniquity. Read. And dieth in them. And he die in that iniquity. What? For his iniquity that he have done. For the shall iniquity he die. that he personally have done shall he what? Die. Die. Read. Again, when the wicked man turneth away from his wickedness. Again, when the wicked man turn away from his wickedness. Read. That he have committed. That he have committed and doeth that which is lawful and right, he shall what? Save his soul alive. How we doing, church? Amen. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. Watch this. Read. Because he considered. Because he what? Considereth. You got whites of the day that considered what their forefathers did, and they are fighting to try to correct it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. by not doing the same thing. That's right. Not being the same thing, not believing the same thing, disdaining the things that their forefathers did. Mm -hmm. So why are you going to penalize them? You owe me. Mm -hmm. Oh, you nothing. You got health and strength. God done blessed you. Get up and get a job. Amen. Sitting around waiting on somebody to give you something. You lazy bum. Mm -hmm. That's Ooh. right. Get up and work. You always <laughs> got your hand out. You know, anytime you do for somebody that can do for themselves, guess what? You create the handicap. Mm -hmm. How we doing, oh, church? Yeah. That's Ooh. right. <clears throat> Amen. Un fair behavior. behavior. Watch this now. Read. Because he considereth because he considereth and turneth and turn from, from all, all his transgressions that he has committed, he shall what? Surely live. He shall not die, yet saith the house of Israel, the way of the Lord is not once again. God's way ain't right. <laughs> it ain't equal. It ain't equal. Mm. It's not fair. God's rule is not fair. But well, watch this, read. Oh, house of Israel. I want to tell you something, people of America. What? Are not my ways My equal? ways are equal, but your ways are what? Unequal. Unfair. Amen. Tight ain't. Yes, yes. That's yes. right. Read. Therefore. Therefore what? I will judge you. I'm going to judge you. Oh, house of Israel. Ooh, just stand by, pay back. Yep. Pay back and pay off payday. Mm. 
-hmm. It's one thing about God. He, the greatest paymaster there is. He gonna pay you what's due and bring it to you on time. That's right. Amen. You know what I'm saying? Where my money at? Where my money at? Ah, where my money at? My money ain't, my check ain't got here yet. People going there looking at, where's my check? My check ain't got here yet. Where's it at? Hell up in the mail system somewhere. But God is the greatest paymaster there is. He pay you exactly what you earn and bring it to you on time. Amen. <clears throat> Read. Everyone according to his ways. Everyone according to his ways. Read. Save the Lord God. Says the Lord God. Read. Repent. Repent. And turn yourselves. And from turn yourselves from all of your transgression. So what? Iniquity. So iniquity. Shall not be your room. Iniquity is immoral or grossly unfair behavior. That's the gospel. Oh, yeah. It's in the book. Everything you need to know is right here in the book. Mm -hmm. All you got to do is dust it off, open it up, pray first, That's and right. God will open up to you the wisdom from above. Watch this. Read. Cast away from you all Cast your Cast away from you all your transgressions whereby you have transgressed and make you what? Make you a new a heart. new heart and a new spirit. spirit. For why will you die, O house of Israel? For I have no pleasure in the death of him that dieth, said the Lord God. Wherefore, do what? Turn yourselves. Get away from this unfair practices. Amen. That's right. Be just. That's right. Amen. Amen. Unfair, not based on or behaving according to the principles of equality. What's good for one is good for the other. We fought for equal rights mm -hmm. to be able to eat in any restaurant, drink at the water fountain. You see, go to school and white children drinking out of the same fossil. Back in the olden days, couldn't do that. Mm. All right now. So what you want to get paid for not being there? Your father's not being able to drink out of that fountain. Unfair mm -hmm. behavior. For I have no pleasure in the death of him that dieth, said the Lord God. Wherefore, turn yourselves and do what? And live ye. You want life? Turn. Amen. Amen. Stop this unfair practices, mm -hmm. this behavior. Behavior right. defined again. The way in which one acts or conducts himself against another, especially, especially people that can't defend themselves. Yeah. In conclusion, let's go to Psalms. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> 37. We'll finish up here in 37. Mm -hmm. 30, 31st verse. Listen to this. The law of his God is in his heart. 31st says, the righteous, the mouth of the righteous speaketh what? Wisdom. Do you hear that? The mouth of the who? Righteous. Does what? Speaketh wisdom. Wisdom. See, this is wisdom. Unfair behavior. Jerry always asks it, how, where do you come up with them subjects? From above, Jerry. Lord gives them to me. Unfair behavior. You see, the mouth of the righteous speaketh wisdom, and his tongue talketh of what? Judgment. Judgment. 31st verse said, the law of his God is what? In his heart. In his heart, none of his steps shall what? Slide. The wicked watches the righteous to do what? Seeketh to slay him. Unfair.
fair in their actions. Amen. What's good for one should be good for the other. Amen. Equal justice where? Under the law. Equal justice under the law. Watch this now. Read. The Lord will not leave him in his hand. The Lord will not leave his people in the hands of the wicked. Nor condemn him when he Nor is judged. Nor will he condemn him when he is judged. Watch this carefully. Watch this carefully. Read, read that again. I'm seeing something here. Watch this now. Watch this. Read this again. The Lord will not leave the him. The Lord will not leave him in his hand. Him in his hand. Watch this. Read. Nor condemn him. Nor will I, God says, condemn the one that you are forming your unreasonable, unthinkable practices against. I will not condemn him. When he is judged. You done judged him, but I'm not going to condemn him. Mm hmm what? You mean to tell me we done passed the law? Twelve jurors said that he is a criminal and you ain't going to judge him? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because it's unfair behavior. God does not involve himself into anything that is wicked. Amen. <clears throat> yeah? Amen. Watch this. Read. Wait on the Lord. What? Wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord, read. And keep his way. And keep his way, read. And he shall exalt thee. And he shall what? Exalt thee. Woo hoo. Mm -hmm. To do what? To inherit the land. Watch it. Watch. God don't speak idle words. That's I'm right. not going to condemn you because someone else has condemned you. Mm hmm. You just wait on me. Wait on me. And I'm going to bless you to what? To inherit the land. Ooh. Yes, yes, yes. Wait on the Lord and keep his way. Mm -hmm. And he shall exalt thee to inherit the land. When the wicked are what? Cut off. Thou shalt what? See it. See it. Read. I have seen the wicked in I've great power. I've seen the wicked in great power. Anytime that you can penalize, use the judiciary system to penalize somebody, and you done done the self-same thing, something is wrong, church. That's right. I've seen the wicked, David said, what? In great power. With great power, read. And spreading himself. And like spreading a, himself, what? Like a green bay tree. Woo-hoo. Over here, over there, down here, up there, over mm. there, and over here, then spread himself. Mm. Watch this now, read. Yet he passed away. Yet he passed away. And lo, what? He was not. Read. Yea, I sought him. I sought him, but what? But he could not be found. Now here's the key. Here's the key, church. This is, this is the source of our existence. Mark what? The perfect man. Mark who? The perfect well, man. Wait a minute. The earth say, people say, there ain't but one perfect man on earth, and that was Jesus Christ. Well, you ain't read your scriptures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they tell that lie. The reason why they make that statement is because they ain't perfect and they don't want to see nobody else that's perfect because if you're perfect and they're unperfect, your perfect life will cause them to be condemned in their actions. Yes, yes, yes. It's like a woman they made the statement up there. We went up to Pittsburgh with the group, church group, church group, church folks. Ain't nobody married on this trip. Y'all might not be married, I told him, but I am still married. Amen. 
Oh, yeah, the women, 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 women. Ain't nobody married on this trip. Oh, really? <laughs> I thank God. When he takes me from home, he keeps me, and then he brings me back home. Watch this. Kept. Preach on now. Did you hear what I said? Kept. Kept. That's right. As the old folks say, as sure as you're born to die, the chicken's going to come home to roost. Mm. Got that right. You got that right. 30 some odd years, 30 some odd years, longer since 1980, up and down, in and out, back and forth, and not one time have I fallen Amen. Praise the Lord. in the snare of the devil. Amen. Praise the Lord. That's a blessing, church. Amen. Because yes, there's a lot is. of traps. There's a lot of traps. Oh, yes. There's a lot of traps. A whole lot of. My wife told me, oh, if I'd have known all that, I wouldn't let my boys get into driving the buses. <laughs> but they're out there. And just like God kept me, he can keep them. Amen. Amen. How we doing, church? Amen. Amen. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Unfair behavior. Amen. Read, brother. See if we can't finish up. Here. Mark the perfect man. Mark the what? Perfect man. The perfect man, and then do what? And behold the upright. And behold the upright. Why? For the end of that man is peace. I can come home peacefully. They're gonna write me a letter in red. And then they're gonna tell me down the end, do not show this to your wife. I get home and I'll shake her, wake her right up. Wake up. <laughs> wake up. What you what you want? I need you to read this. She wake up. She read it. Then she gonna go off on me. Well, what did you do to cause all of this? You ain't got to do nothing but drive the bus. That's all you need to do is drive the bus and that just turns women on. <laughs> I said, now stop and think. What does it say down on the end? Do not show this to your wife. And what am I doing? I'm waking you up in the middle of the night because I got in. It was after 12 o'clock. She's sound asleep and got to go to work. But you're going to read this. That's right. Well, wake him up. Thank God for Jesus. Amen. And that's something. Thank God for Jesus. Just like he took me, and I always pray, Lord, as you take me, bring me. Yes, yes, yes. When I leave home, I leave home saved. And when I come back home, I want to come back saved. Amen. And kept. Amen. Amen. By the power of the Almighty God. Yes. What a blessing. You believe you heard the truth? Mark the perfect man, behold the upright. For, For the, the end, end of that man, that man is what? Is peace. Is peace. 38th verse said, but the transgressors, what? Shall be destroyed together. Watch, they're all going down together. Mm -hmm. Watch, watch. God speaks no idle word. They all going to go down together. Amen. Watch. Watch it. Ma write it down. Write it down, Sister Marshall. You're getting it written down. I know how Brother Howard, L. Howard, Brother Howard got it written. Write it down, Brother Howard. <laughs> you got that right. You come back here one day. He said, you know, back there on June the 6th, Pastor, you said that they were going to go down and look at what's happening. All going down together. It's just like the Irani president, he and his staff, who all was with him, attack Israel for the first time in history. God said, it will never happen again from you. Boom. Dropped him out of the air. And you don't hear a lot of talk about it. Why? Yeah. They would love to have blamed somebody else for that. 
-hmm. Oh, would they have loved to put that blame on somebody? Oh, yeah, you shot that plane, that helicopter out of the air. No. Uh-uh. Nope. Ain't nobody said it. Not just as quiet. Mm -hmm. Together. Read that again, brother. But the transgression shall be destroyed. Read. Together. Together. The end of the wicked shall be cut off. But the salvation of the righteous is what? Of the Lord. He is their strength in what? In time of trouble. Read, and the Lord shall help them and deliver them. He shall do what? Deliver them from, from the wicked. Who? From the wicked and save them because what? They trust There's in the key him. right there. That's the key. You believe you heard truth? Amen. Lord say you shall know the truth and the truth shall what? Make you free. Amen. Right words uttered are the issues. Yes. Of life. May God bless you, church. Amen. Unfair behavior. We're experiencing it today. But one thing is of a certainty God's got it all in control. Amen. Amen. Turn the service back over to the digging. Thank you. You all keep me in your prayers.